a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC Worldwide and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell. Your full AccuWeather forecast is always on top here on your CNC local news page. Back to school in the Greece Central School District. That means school is in session now all across the Rochester area. You'll be running across plenty of these guys on the roads, so have a care. The Democratic Party caucus on the Monroe County Legislature wants a criminal investigation of how a local company got a $220 million contract for the county's new public safety communications system. A draft audit released last week by State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli criticizes the contract process. It says the process utilized to procure the contract was not competitive and favored one vendor, Navitech. Navitech's chief operating officer is Steve Gleason, who was Monroe County's chief financial officer for several years. The comptroller's office says Navitech was given a copy of the county's request for proposals three months before it was officially released. County legislature Democrats say it looks to them like Navitech got inside information. They want the Monroe County District Attorney and the State Attorney General's office to investigate whether the competitive bidding process was circumvented. The current Monroe County CFO, Scott Adair, says the county rejects the comptroller's findings and is drafting an official response. County Executive Brooks told reporters that much of the information in the audit is factually incorrect, and Steve Gleason told the Democratic Chronicle that he joined Navitech a full year after he left the county and had never even heard of Navitech while he was working for government. State police have charged a Fairport man with rape. They say 40-year-old Glenn Manzik worked as a substitute teacher in school districts around Monroe County. He was charged with rape, committing a criminal sexual act, and endangering the welfare of a child. Police say these acts involved a single victim, and we don't know if it was a student in any area district. Manzik has been arraigned in Parenton Town Court and is being held in the Monroe County Jail pending a return to court on September 10th. The U.S. attorney for Western New York says a Brighton man has pleaded guilty in U.S. District Court to a child pornography charge. Prosecutors say Mohammed Nazir Ahmad faces up to 10 years in prison when he is sentenced on December 5th. They say the 59-year-old Ahmad, who worked as a translator for the Defense Department in Afghanistan, had a memory stick in his camera. On it was a video of him having sex with a 13-year-old girl. Topps Market says it will close its Elmridge Plaza store next month on October 20th. Topps says the store on West Ridge Road at Elm Grove Road will close prior to its lease expiring in November. It says this decision is based on the store's economic performance. A company news release says the Elmridge store employees have been offered other positions within the company. It doesn't say how many are being affected. On this page, you can find links to these and other stories on the bottom in the gray bar, links for you to use, and you can post us your stories, your story ideas, your wedding announcements, birth announcements, business openings. We want to know all about these things because we are a locally driven news service. Next news as it happens. Speaking of that, updates when necessary, and you can help us decide when that will be. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.